Welcome back to What Arty Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a BUGI or Boogie. It's a tier 6 Polish medium tank, one of the new ones. It's located on the northeast corner of province and it's under the command of Waswolf. There's three different guns you can have on the Boogie. A 75mm, a 90mm or 100mm. He's got the 90mm which is the second one up. 240 Alpha with standard ammo penetrating 156 and with APCR going through 198. Now it's a pre-war design. It didn't get put into production mainly because of course the war started and all tank production was basically thrown out the window. Mainly because Poland fell so quickly to the German Blitzkrieg. But it's an interesting tank concept. Rounded turret, very, very rounded. Waswolf's trying to get some shots on the enemy. Found an enemy boogie. Oh, and his teammate almost went straight in front of him, and that happens to me on regular occasion. Auto aimed on. No, didn't get anything there. I think he's decided better off going up one level than shooting your teammate in the back because if you do accidentally shoot your teammate it disqualifies you from getting a high caliber. Now I know that can mean a di make a difference to some players mainly because if they are anticipating doing a lot of damage on the enemy then it, it's not a very good idea to accidentally uh, lose a medal. That guy's tracked. Panzer Mark IV. Oh! Gets the kill shot on him! Nice. Well, that one seemed to work very well indeed. Now, is he going to turn left or is he going to go straight up onto the heights? Uh, looks like he's having a quick look to see if anybody's defending that corner first. You know, the Polish tanks, uh, the Polish mediums, uh, well, fairly new to the game because they were only brought in with the last patch and uh, everyone at the moment seems to be scrambling to work their way up the line to get to the tier 10. Quite a few have made it already, but some are still working on it. He's not found anyone to shoot at yet. Oh, yes he has now. KV1, who's seen him as well, puts around for 231 into him, low roll. You can see it's quite useful. That 90mm gun does a lot of damage. And the KV-1's hidden around the corner because he knows that, well, he doesn't want to take any more shots from the from the boogie. Yeah, he's hiding. He's not going to come out to sight. He's staying behind the building. We can't get a shot on the Jackson just yet. And there's a T-34 shielded there as well. There's the KV-1. Fires a snap in. 244. He was trying to work out where to put the shell. All it was tracks that he could see or tracks or the uh, the turret. Don't think he wanted to wait for the turret. Oh! Hellcat comes into view. He fires one in that direction. But will the Hellcat fire one back? Well, the Hellcat actually gets taken out. Ooh, the Jackson. Oh, he's on one shot as well. And um, will he get shots on that P-43? He's taking damage from somebody. Puts a round into a P-43. Did get hit by the RT. He's going for another shot on the KV-1. Fires one through the gap. And the VK is firing at his tracks at the moment. Now, which way does he go down? He could go down the halfway by going down by the steps, or we can go around the long way round, which is the safer way. But that KV-1 is one shot now. So, okay, he's moving. He's lost his gunner. He needs to put the gunner back in before he takes another shot. I don't think he's noticed that. His reticule is very, very big though. Better. Good shot, but still need your gunner back in. I just don't think he's realised that he's got no gunner. 
you will realize now because he can't fire across the valley without the gunner no he's not going to get anywhere it's the reticule's too big still hasn't noticed i've seen some drivers or some players drive around with the dead driver not realizing that they are actually short of what they need but uh, a dead gunner it's so obvious the damage it does to your re performance i always finally realized and put the gunner back in now would he get a shot in this vk he might no shoot aim further ahead at the gap Oh, he's back up again. No, that's a different one. It's a DSPZ. Might be able to get shot in the back of the turret. Oh, there's the VK. No, he auto aims on. It's it's uh, it's easy enough to do that. Make that mistake. No, shot over the engine deck. But our one of our teammates got the shot on him. quite dangerous actually shooting from that position that way much better to be on the other side of the uh, hit, uh, that uh, house because uh, then they can't shoot into your side down from down below okay he's now going to go and deal with the re last remaining enemies on his side of the map oh and who's first well they're on a different level they're down below and we did lose some teammates now we've only got three teammates left well, there's only three left. It's an Artie, the Boogie, and a Panzer 5-4. Oh, P-43 takes a round. Go for the Ram, if you can. Okay, that's got at least one shot's value, and he gets the kill. Good. It's worth it to do that, actually, just to, to give him enough Ram so that the next shot will be the kill shot. The VK's over the edge of the cliff. Now, that is the last enemy round. Oh, no, there's three enemies left. But it's only two left on our team. And the RT's over on the far side. I'm not sure how long he's going to survive, though. There is an enemy RT on this side. It's also an M44. And here comes the VK. Yes, easy kill. Nice one. That 90mm gun is very good. Unfortunately, we've lost our M44, which means that... Uh, Wass Wolf is now the last remaining member of his team. And I think he's decided he's going to go over and deal with that DS. I would have gone to the, uh, the M44 on the, on the enemy team first. Get him out of the equation and then he can take on the DS as he wishes. Otherwise he's going to have some, the worry of somebody shooting him in the back at any moment. Here comes the DS. Oh no, missed the chance. And the M44 is probably lining up a shot on him right now. So now he's got to w move about with the, yes, with the worry that the enemy RT is going to be firing one at him. Stunning him. The DS was trying to get into the cap. There he is. He's trying to get, a, he's trying to get it on him. Yes, he got it on him. And the M44 finishes him off. Oh, and interesting, the M44 went over to the other side of the map. So he wasn't where we would expect him to be. He moved. So, unfortunately, it was a loss. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It was an ace tanker for Wazwolf in the boogie. Get down and boogie. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, that's such a bad joke. Okay, I'll get my coat. Uh, he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got eight in this one. A duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. And a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He ended up with five. One short of a top gun. And a fiver effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. He actually got the high caliber in that game. He killed uh, enough of the enemy and did enough damage to earn the high caliber. Let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see he managed to get 2,654 hit points of damage. The next high scorer being the enemy M44 who actually killed him with 1,504 hit points. And the next high score after that being their VK301H with 1,401. When it came to kills, it was Waswolf got five kills. Three kills went to the M18 Hellcat and the enemy team. 
and our Panzerkampfwagen Fumpf at the uh, um, uh three kills. And yes, when it came to base XP, it was the Wazwolf who got the highest. <laughs> yes, that's surprising. I thought for a second the enemy team were going to have the highest base XP, but no, in this occasion, because he got the high caliber and because he did so much damage, he ended up with 745 base, whereas the winning team, the M44, was their high scorer, got 716, and their BK got 705. He fired 21 rounds, got 13 direct hits and 12 penetrations, damage of 2,654 hit points, of which 437 were at more than 300 metres. He received 8 hits from the enemy, 4 were penetrations, 3 non-penetrations and 4 hits by way of splash. Yes, the enemy RT was very good. 135 hit points of damage blocked by armour, 2 enemy vehicles spotted, 8 enemy vehicles damaged, 5 killed and 398 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 27,672 credits, 3,060 for achievements. That's for getting the uh, the Epic Medal or Battle Hero Medal in a losing or drawn game. 46,098 credits altogether, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 34,280 credits. He received 745 XP, got 415 for the achievements award there, and took away 1,740 experience points altogether. So not a bad ace. Well done. Uh... Pity that it was a loss. I I would have been tempted, instead of going for that DS, even though he was going to go for the cap, obviously, I would have been tempted to go go down to the far end, find the RT. Obviously, Waswolf probably would have got to the far end, not found anyone there because the M44 was on the other side of the map. But then I would have gone over to the other side of the map or I would have gone up the valley floor uh, towards the cap, uh, skirting along the edge to try and avoid RT fire and uh, that way I probably would have been able to get at that DS without uh, getting shot at. But um, that's only because in those sort of circumstances, I don't want someone shooting me in my back while I'm trying to take on an enemy tank, because um, uh, otherwise, you know, you could end up getting uh, taken out by the RT as Wazwolf was. So, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like, and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thanks for watching.